Doomsday Beast. It's really here. Get down here! Uh, careful, everyone! Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at my first impressions on a free-to-play game that really piqued my interest with Honkai Star Rail. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel and hope you enjoy my content I provide. I'm trying to hit that plateau of 1,000 subs, so please like and subscribe if you like what I do. Being a huge fan of Genshin Impact and the quality that game had as a free-to-play game, I've come to notice that more and more games in a similar genre are being released. Traditional turn-based RPGs have been something I loved growing up and still love to explore to this day. Glancing on online trailers while surfing online, Hantai Star Rail really impressed me and being a free-to-play game, I wanted to check it out as well as rekindle old memories as I had nothing else to lose except time. Scratching the surface here are my first impressions on my first six hours of the game thus far. Honkai Star Rail was developed and released by Hoyoverse in 2023 for Windows PC, iOS, Android, and coming soon to the PlayStation 4 and 5. The game is the fourth installment of the Honkai series, drawing characters from the Honkai Third Impact and gameplay elements from Genshin Impact. The story revolves around a space fantasy universe where godlike beings known as Aeons are followed by humanity to stop corrupting force called Fragmentum. The main character you control, known as the Trailblazer, awakens without any memory at all with a destructive force known as a Stellarod embedded in their body. You join other adventurers, also known as Trailblazers, in traveling to different worlds around the Astral Express to locate and stop the corrupting forces. While you travel, you meet many different characters to befriend, each with their own distinct personalities, where you can choose to join you in battle. The story elements really do a good job with explaining everything to you without getting too overwhelming and also not taking it too seriously. This made my time really fly by as I wanted to get to know the characters more and enjoy the banter back and forth. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And... got one! My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> the gameplay uses the classic conventions of Japanese RPGs in turn-based combat. Your team consists of four characters, including yourself, that is really easy to understand and intuitive at the same time. There were many times where I had to switch my strategy in order to survive tougher battles that were explained in lengthy tutorials in the beginning of the game. The battles really piqued my interest with their high quality presentation of their combat, especially with their ultimate attacks. To repent. This sanctuary is but a vision. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. The visuals are cell shaded and designed very well as it rivals other RPGs in the genre, putting them to shame. The quality here does impress and surprise me so much 
with the detail that they put into this game. I love the detail of the characters and environments as the colors really pop and never look static. The voiceovers are really well done as well and I love the English voiceovers in this one. I generally hate anime inspired voiceovers but they have done an excellent job here. I just wish that the main protagonists had their own voice in the dialogue as well to give that more immersive feel. Although the story is the main reason why you play, there are plenty of side missions that you can complete as you explore the lore and help others in the universe. I really didn't want to complete any of these side missions as my time isn't infinite in gaming nowadays, but completing the missions really do help you get stronger in the long run as you expand your trailblazer level that is completely different from your stats. In order to progress further in the story and game, you must be at a certain trailblazer level. This was the biggest con so far as I really wanted to see the story move forward but realized I had to do more side missions to improve my trailblazer standing. It feels like a lot of grinding but I must admit that once I started my level did rise faster but I still felt it was a bit of a chore to do. For a free to play game I guess it's something I just had to expect and accept. Overall, my very small sample size beginning really impressed me. The overall quality of the story and combat system really jumps out especially for a free to play game and I haven't spent one dime, not yet, just like Genshin Impact which was a major plus. Although I have to grind a bit more to f move forward, I can't wait to see what happens next and to see where the story goes as I eradicate evil in the worlds to come. That's it for my first impression look at Honkai Star Rail. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.